Victoria, Princess Royal. Victoria Adelaide Mary Louisa. Born on the November 21, 1840, die on the August 5, 1901, was German Empress and Queen of Prussia as the wife of German Emperor Frederick III. She was the eldest child of Queen Victoria of the United Kingdom and Prince Albert of Saxe Coburg and Gotha, and was created Princess Royal in 1841. As the eldest child of Queen Victoria, she was briefly her heir, until the birth of her younger brother and future king, Edward VII. She was the mother of Wilhelm II, German Emperor. Educated by her father in a politically liberal environment, Victoria was married at age 17 to Prince Frederick of Prussia, with whom she had eight children. Victoria shared with Frederick her liberal views and hopes that Prussia and the later German Empire should become a constitutional monarchy, based on the British model. Criticized for this attitude and for her English origins, Victoria suffered ostracism by the Hohenzollerns and the Berlin court. This isolation increased after the rise to power of Otto von Bismarck, one of her most staunch political opponents, in 1862. Victoria was empress for only a few months, during which she had opportunity to influence the policy of the German Empire. Frederick III died in 1888 to 99 days after his accession, from laryngeal cancer and was succeeded by their son Wilhelm II, who had much more conservative views than his parents. After her husband's death, she became widely known as Empress Frederick, German, Kaiserin Friedrich. The Empress Dowager then settled in Kronberg im Taunus, where she built Friedrichshof, a castle, named in honor of her late husband. Increasingly isolated after the weddings of her younger daughters, Empress Frederick died of breast cancer in August 1901, less than seven months after the death of her mother, Queen Victoria, in January 1901. The correspondence between Victoria and her parents has been preserved almost completely, 3,777 letters from Queen Victoria to her eldest daughter, and about 4,000 letters from the Empress to her mother are preserved and catalogued. These give a detailed insight into life at the Prussian court between 1858 and 1900. Empress Frederick devoted part of her final years to painting and to visit the artist's colony of Kronberg where she regularly met with the painter Norbert Schrodel. In her last days, she used to walk in the morning and spent long hours writing letters or reading in the library of her castle. In late 1898, physicians diagnosed the Empress Dowager with inoperable breast cancer, forcing her to stay in bed for long periods. Cancer had spread to her spine by the autumn of 1900, and as she worried about her personal letters, in which she detailed her concern over Germany's future under her son, falling into the hands of the emperor, she requested that the letters be brought back to Great Britain in a cloak-and-dagger operation by her godson Frederick Ponsonby, the private secretary of her brother, Edward VII, who was making his final visit to his terminally ill sister in Kronberg on February 23, 1901. These letters were later edited by Ponsonby and put into context by his background commentary to form the book that was published in 1928. The Empress Dowager died in Friedrichshof on August 5, 1901, less than seven months after the death of her mother. Victoria was buried next to her husband in the Royal Mausoleum of the Friedenskirche at Potsdam on August 13, 1901. Her tomb has a recumbent marble effigy of herself on top. Her two sons who died in childhood, Sigismund and Valdemar, are buried in the same mausoleum. Victoria's entire correspondence, which she left to her youngest daughter Margaret, is preserved in the archive of the House of Hesse, which is kept in Fesnery Palace in Aschenzell, Germany. Thanks for watching her story channel. Don't forget to like the video. And subscribe our channel.